Hey guys, my name is Sam. Um, I'm sometimes always on my phone. Uh, I have social media. I have many forms of social media on my phone. Um, I enjoy using it. Uh, I spend a majority of my day on social media while I'm not at work. On my free time, I'll be on social media. I really enjoy it. Um, it makes me feel good and it helps me connect with friends. I spend about maybe five hours on my phone when I go to work and I spend the rest of the time when I'm at my house. Social media really hasn't affected my life as much as it should have. I'm not on it constantly like everybody else is. I don't have a Facebook, I don't have a MySpace, I do have an Instagram, but I barely post anything. Mostly social media really is not a big basis on my life, neither is my phone. But to others it could be. Hi, my name is Justin Marinick. I'm the current principal at Murphy Ranch Elementary School in Whittier, California. Uh, previously, I was the principal at Granada Middle School, also in Whittier. Actually, yeah, Whittier, that way. But uh, so, uh, just to talk about social media and how it, how it affects students. Uh, at the elementary level, we don't really have too much of an issue with it, but at the middle school level, it is it plays a huge uh, role in how students think about themselves, how they communicate with one another. Uh, you know, I, I think we all know that when you are having, when you're face to face with somebody, you filter yourself. You control what you say and you don't necessarily say everything that you're thinking. Where, whereas when you're in the digital arena, when you're in social media, you tend to say things that you typically wouldn't say to someone when they're standing right in front of you. Um, and that is especially true for adolescents, kiddos that are still figuring out how they fit in the world, how, where they belong, and, and what is appropriate, what's not appropriate. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think it, play, it plays a huge role, and, and it really has a deep impact on some students that haven't developed that ability to, the, the res resiliency, the ability to control their emotions, and, and you know, especially in middle school, we all know how everyone's just trying to fit in. And when you get singled out, especially through a social media post or something like that, um, it, it really has a tremendous impact. So um, the number of times, that the, I would say that the number of discipline uh, incidents that we had to deal with at the middle school level uh, that involved social media was a fairly significant number. It was a good percentage of the things that we dealt with simply because you know, they, they, they're able to say things at home at night and it, it rolled on into the school day and it, it, you know, it's not just, you know, when two people are having a conversation or a disagreement with one another, it's just those two people there. When it happens in social media, it is, everyone's involved. Everyone gets to see that. Everyone gets to chime in on it too. So uh, it's just this big snowballing effect that, uh, that has a huge impact. So um, yeah, I would say, the longer we can keep kids out of social media, the better, simply because of that. So.